What is up you guys? What is up you guys? So it was Easter and I was making some eggs with my family and uh, that's a warning egg, a human egg. Uh, this was at church, um, the Easter Bunny versus Jesus, as you can see. Jesus won. That's Francis. So I'm going to see Francis in France. She's studying linguistics. Quechua, did you know Quechua was the language or did you think it was a drink? I thought it was a drink. Kombucha. Kombucha? No. Kombucha. Kombucha? Kombuchi? Kombucha? Kind of like a potato potato. Whatever you want to pronounce it to get you excited about drinking it. No. We're gonna see Francis in France and we're gonna go to Germany. I'm gonna take WOW Airlines, Notre Dame. I'm gonna see the Louvre. I'm gonna be a part of a protest. And I'm gonna be back in time for my mom to visit. It's and it's gonna, gonna be a great time. time. Everything's, Everything's gonna, gonna go, smoothly. go smoothly. I hope you didn't book that flight. What? Yes, I did. I'm gonna kill someone. Breaking business news this morning and certainly a nightmare for people who have booked a flight on WOW Airline. Unexpectedly shutting down last night, stranding more than a thousand passengers. Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris is completely engulfed by fire. God does not want you to go. Wow. But then Frances stayed up every night and she was able to buy four separate tickets for comparable prices. Josh was very happy for me. Okay, I'm just about to go to the airport. Uh, I look like shit because my allergies are insane. And uh, I smoked a little too much. Puppies. So I just realized it sounds really good in here. Come on, sweet Cute bird. Hey, my name is Wadsworth. Good evening, everyone. You're falling. Stop. <laughs> Where's the camera? With it being our first night in Paris together, I knew it had to be special. So we picked up a bottle of wine, and I took the big- That strong, powerful woman to endgame. Then Francis took the lead, and next thing I knew- You like oh, it? Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I asked the guard, and uh, it turns out Makir was right about this measurement. Apparently, on a hot day in summer in Paris, the Eiffel Tower can grow by up to 17 centimeters. So after a long date night, me and Francis settled down for a nice uh, night and this. A guy just went, Ugh! and then threw a trash can. What the fuck? What time was our original train? Original train was at 7 of 6. And what time did we get here? 7 10. Then just bought two completely different tickets. We won't get a refund. Maybe I will. You think? Not for being stupid. <laughs> You're the most temporally optimistic person I've ever met. Look at you, woman! What you done done? You got my money. I'm on a bomb. That night we had the pleasure of staying with Marezo, an architect, who had built this apartment. On Marezo's wall, he had a picture of Pasolini, my favorite poet, and turns out it's his too. Pasolini had also directed the movies The Gospel According to Matthew and 120 Days of Sodom. Very different movies. <laughs> I'm leading the march. <laughs> Against beating women? I think so. Is this what you want to beat me with? <laughs> we'll see. Come on, see, come to it. Oh, no, no, no. This just could not be more French right now. Behind me is a protest. Aren't these nice? Isn't this nice? Isn't this nice? 
Look at that nice sculpture. Doesn't Francis look nice? Nice! Woo! It's 5.40. Oh, look at that nice thing! <laughs> Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? Now that we're done with fake France Germany, uh, to real Germany we go. After settling down with some sausage, I found out that my house back home in Columbus had been robbed, mugged, muggled, burgled. For some reason, they didn't take this laptop that I'm editing on right now. So that is a, a little uh, blessing in disguise, or just naked. It's just a blessing. Just a straight, pure blessing from the Lord. Where are we? Asphalt. <laughs> but with a German accent. <laughs> Have you noticed there's a lot of jean skirts here? Yeah, and not like the... Not like the ones that OSU girls wear. Like the ones that you can see them. So. They call it the Black Forest. What? Look. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you recognize the roof? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Heidegger, I'm sure you, you may be. It's okay if you don't. This is Heidegger's house, and uh, he was the best philosopher in the last hundred years, kind of indisputably. But he's also he's also got some problems. The thing that was really wrong and broken with Heidegger falls away is that he died and the bad the bag of bad bad bad. And uh, if you'll allow it, uh, I'd like to explain. Heidegger was a Nazi. We can't get around this. Facts are the facts. The one part of his philosophy that was broken was the holism. The idea that if you scratch the surface of things, it's all one thing. For Heidegger, it was basically a white German straight male. Let me be clear. I think this is what Heidegger got wrong. <laughs> the way you improve Heidegger's philosophy is through object-oriented ontology because it's the only non-holistic interpretation of Heidegger that keeps the insight that was really so great in him that reality has the tendency to withdraw and presence the opposite. Imminence can only happen from a surplus of depth. That's what Heidegger got right. What he got wrong was that this surplus was all one lump, one thing. So Heidegger thought he was permitted to say that some things just had more world in them. Wow, isn't that a coincidence? Just happens to be him, and things like him. And that the rest of the world was kind of delayed, behind the curve. Every other animal, every other race was relatively obsolete. Which is why it's time to finally say... Bye Heidegger. I look away for one minute. <laughs> And this is Francis, again, who's a linguist, teaching me how to say Danke uh, for like 40 minutes. Uh, Germans don't fully understand how much we Americans appreciate the gift of Aldi. It's, it's going already? Yes. It's going. <laughs> and that's right, Francis's video skills are as good as Michael Bond villains. <laughs> Did you get in focus? Yeah, I think so. When we got back to Paris, we had a jam session with her host parents. <laughs> oh. 
The line to the Louvre was like seven hours long. So we did a bunch of other stuff instead. S starting with the famous Shakespeare and Company bookstore. They had a book on object-oriented ontology by Graham Harmon, basically my philosophy uncle. Always a sad sight, as ducks run deep in my family. Do you have any chocolate? I don't think they can eat that. <laughs> Make it stanky. Come on, stanky. It's good to wear your backpack like this in touristy areas so you can keep an eye on everybody. Well, this sucks. And I have to point out here that while I appreciate the French and their protesting, I think it's a little low to force children into it. For my last day, we tried to go to the Louvre again, but it turns out the Louvre is closed two days of the year. Christmas and Labor Day. Guess what day it was? French Christmas. I'm kidding, it was French Labor Day. <laughs> my last day. Viva France. So we went to the other museums, which were just as awesome. Well, I don't know that, but I tell myself that. And while you're watching the museum stuff, I, w I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for your receptivity and your um, penetrating eyes. You're looking at these things and I'm just proud of you. There was, there was a dodo bird and there were dead apes. Look at these dead bugs. That's what a natural history museum is. A cemetery zoo. As if zoos weren't already problematic. What's wrong? You got these salami snacks from Germany? How many have you had? Like eight? Many, yes. You've been eating the casing that's made of plastic. How are you even chewing it? And before we knew it, the trip was over. And it would be another couple months until I got to see Francis again. But that wasn't the end of my trip. I still had to fly back to America. And on that flight, a woman started screaming a few rows behind me at the top of her lungs and didn't stop for the next nine hours. Now the silence here. Now the silence here. She's been, she's been, she's been handcuffed. This lady's trying to get thrown off the plane. She was arrested, and we had to wait on the plane, and so I missed my next flight. And the audio here is atrocious, but I just say that I missed my flight, my mom is in Ohio visiting from Florida, and here I am in Florida trying to get to Columbus, whatever. This is almost over, just watch. Got a hole ripped in my own pair of pants. This sucks. It was, I thought it was a lot. No! Dude, thank you so much. I feel like I died, went to hell, and just kept falling deeper. <laughs> well, I'm finally home. Today, I have my family reunion. I called my mom and she said, there's an hour, maybe two hours left. It takes an hour to get there. Uh, and I would take a shower that I desperately need, but, um, power's out. God, why did you love Jacob and Haiti so? But I made it to Ridgeway finally, and got to see my mom and my extended family, and uh, it was a good, good time, you know. 
good time, family. So Donny Osmond's playing tennis. That's my mom. That's my mom. That's my mom. Right. At the hotel in Las Vegas. Right. So I take off running through the casino and I flatten a man to the ground. What and man was it? Sammy Davis Jr. You ran over Sammy Davis I Jr. Knocked him to the ground. And Trying to spy on Donny Osmond. You had a demonic alter ego. Yes. yes. Named yes. Missy Burns. Missy Burns. <laughs> More than are one. Are these cards like all in like individual bags? It's yeah, kind of like they are. That's me. Did you have to do that, or did it come with that? I I had to do that. Oh, like you, you legitimately did that? Yeah. Did they so come hard. with the bag? <laughs> no, I, I got these special. <laughs> you put every single card in a bag. Yeah. 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 Gotta keep them safe. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that full art right there. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. Oh wait a second! You pulled something. <laughs> <laughs> and then if they start catching on, switch back and start making it random. And then once you think you've won enough off them, you just like, yeah. okay, I think you're good, man. Great. <laughs> this is Grandpa's place. Last time through it. Hey dog boy. Hey dog boy. Grandpa, uh, as a little kid, Bill went out with the cat and Here, came can, back with the that. mail. Yeah, I got the cat. <laughs> and it was a dead cat by the time he got back inside. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you go into the bush and you can come out in the future and this is another thing that I lied about but then I ended up believing my own lie but it's true so you stay here make sure you don't see me go back and then you come out in the future well isn't it weird how much a building like it's just a place it's not a person but it can affect you so hard mm -hmm. I mean like, it's, it's like even those shells and somebody like wrote all of that and we Ooh, love is strange Love is strange. Love is strange. Love is strange. Love is strange. Well, this sucks. <laughs>